Hi, this is Tara from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the video description below. What I want to walk you through today is the co a coaching metrics board. Basically, any business, any type of coaching business, doesn't really matter what it is. You want to keep track of your metrics so that way you know how's your business, how's your business doing. Um, you know, is it worth it to have discovery calls? Is it worth it to have meetings? You know, are your leads turning into? Are they enrolling in your program? So the way that this is set up is first of all we have a we have a main table of the board and then we have a dashboard and I'll go into each of them. Now, this is set up by the current month and past months, and then the, the information would be entered weekly. You don't have to enter the information weekly. If you want, you could do it on a monthly basis, on a daily basis, really however you want. I'm going to just do it month, um, weekly for the purpose of this video. So you can see I entered the information um, week 12, and if you scroll all the way to the end, you see that I added a date column, and this is a really simple automation that's set up that just says when an item is created, set date to today. Here, so just so that automatically sets, I don't need to worry about it and I need it because I want to pull in the information later in my dashboard. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to track is the number of leads. So let's just say that I got 100 leads this month. And then how many book discovery calls did I get out of those 10 leads? So let's say I got 10. And unfortunately, only five of those people actually showed up to the meeting. So then the next column is a, these, by the way, are number columns. And then the next one is um, the show rate, like how many people actually showed up to the meetings. And this is a formula column. You can see um, the formula is basically the show meeting divided by the number of booked discovery calls. Now, once we have the call with the client, with a potential client, so then we have people that actually enroll. So let's just say we have two people that enroll. So the next two, so I would enter that information. The next two column are percentages. This is a percentage of the leads to the sale or enrollment, and this is the percentage of the meeting to the sales. So obviously we can see that it's worth it for us to have these discovery meetings because they really make a difference as opposed to people just enrolling. Okay, the next part, so those are the two, two formula columns. They're the same as the other four column, just you have to pull in the correct um, column information. The next we have revenue. Um, this is just all like information that you're gonna enter. So let's just say this is my revenue. And if I want, I could track like how much I actually collected. I can track um, cancellations. This should actually be, I'm gonna change this because this should actually be a number. It's like the number of cancellations, if they canceled, um, refunds. You know, like how, let's say we have one person canceled this month. We have zero refunds. Okay. Now we're going to go to the dashboard. So I set up this dashboard beforehand so that way it's ready to show you. Um, but I will walk through how to set it. Let me just walk through what I have here. So here we have two kinds of widgets. One's a goal. So this goal is set to a, to 10. Obviously, um, it could be set to whatever you want. And then I have um, this column that's going to be leads by month. So as I add in more leads or, you know, more more items on the board, this will show the different months. I can see all my my rates here, my meeting show rate, my leads to enrollment rate, my meeting to enrollment rate. Here I have also, I'm setting goals. I think it's just important in general to have goals, like you want to know what where you're going. So here I can have, here I have my showed meeting um, goal, my discovery call, my enrollment call, which I actually see that this is wrong, so I'm going to fix it. So the reason that it's wrong is because there shouldn't be a dollar sign. That's all. Not a big deal. Okay. Then what I have is my booked revenue. So I, again, I have the same thing, booked revenue by month. And you can do this by quarter, by day, by week, by year, depending on how you want to do this. You just have to edit the, the widget. I have my goal of my booked revenue, the same thing, um, collected revenue and collected revenue over time. And here I have the number of cancellations, the number of refunds, and then refunds by month. So let me just quickly show you how to create. There's three widgets that are on this board. So the first one is a numbers widget. So I really just click the numbers widget. It's super simple and it adds this widget. And then I just have to cl click on settings and click what I want. So I can either count, like let's say the number of items on this board, which for this one, it makes sense, but I can click leads. At, you know, if I want to, let's say instead of leads, I want to click, I want to show how many book discovery calls. So this is going to be on the whole board, unless I want to choose specific groups. Like let's say I only want by this month. So then I would just unclick the past months and I would only have how many leads have come in this month. So that's a numbers widget. The second kind is um, a chart, which is this one. And I just do add widget and I hit chart. 
and you're going to see it's going to show up here. So what I'm going to do is I go to settings to edit it. I can choose, there's a lot of different chart types that you can choose from. And here I'm going to choose, I'm going to need the date column in order to group information by by date or month, but you have the option here, you know, I could decide by quarter. So if I change that to quarter, see how it says Q2 2023. So I can really change that whatever I want. And then my Y axis, I need to decide what information. Am I just counting, um, you know, leads or am I just counting the number of items on the board, which is not relevant again for this? Let's say I want to count leads. So I really want to count leads by quarter. Now, again, I also can go back and change, um, first I can do some average, all these things. I can have benchmark lines, which is similar to the goals. And I can also choose which groups this is relevant for. And as you add information to the main table, I'll just show you, um, let's just say I'll do, you know, another, another group and I'm actually going to change this date because I just want you to see, I just want you to see over time, um, I'll just put it back to, let's say, March. So that would be a different quarter. And I think we did leads. So I'll add, let's say we had 50 leads that month. So obviously you see an improvement here. But if you go to the dashboard, it's even clearer that you can see this improvement. So see here, Q1, it shows you that I have 50 leads. And Q2, it shows you that I had 100 leads. And again, you could do this by any segment of time. The last, um, the last widget is a leads widget. And if I hit add widget, so this is a, I have to go to, to see all the widgets and it's called goals. So it's goals and beta. You just hit add widget and it's going to show up all the way on the bottom. You would add your, your name here and then you click these three buttons settings. And here you would change the name of, let's say, what you want to track. So let's say we're just doing for the leads so we can track leads. And then you change what your target number is. So let's say my target for leads is I want to get to 600 leads um, per month. Now you have to choose which column in your board you're pulling this information from. So I'm going to hit the leads. And obviously this is not dollars, so I'm going to change this to none. Or if I want, I can just write um, leads. And then you can see the percentage, you know, that's a very easy graph to just see how far I've actually gotten um, in my goal over here. So I really hope that this helps you set up some metrics for your coaching business. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, like it below. And please subscribe to my channel if you want more tips and tricks on how to use Monday.com.